What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Run Good Life coming back at you with yet another video. And I have to say, I have been waiting to do this video for a long, 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 long time. So, if you're not aware, there was a particular video that really launched my channel and got it some attention back in November. Um, I was just kind of doing this for fun. I had no intentions of doing a lot of video content. Um, I've done a lot of YouTube in the past, um, but I'd been on a sabbatical, basically. I got tired of doing the editing portion, um, and I'd never really done too much card-related video. Um, it was always like bands and stuff like that. So I wanted to record some box breaks and just get a feel for what it's like to maybe be a breaker or maybe do some content. Anyways, I had a real uh, fascination for this product, which is the 2019-20 Panini Prism Draft Picks Mega Boxes. I didn't bust any of the cellos, any of the blasters, any of the hobby, um, but I did bust like 30 of these. And in box number 25 or 26, um, well, I'm just going to show you guys a video left and then we will hit, hit it with a recap. Admiral Schofield base, Ty Jerome red, a little bit of damage there. Darius Garland silver, Matthias Steibel base. Two packs left. I think the auto should be in this pack, so we will probably hold off. Yep, auto is in here, it looks like. I did not even see the color. That was interesting. I think the auto is in there. But I definitely did not see what color it was. Justin Wright, Foreman, Jordan Poole, Silver of Grant Williams, and Kabangle Base. All right. So, final pack. Ty, oh man, we have a blue chevron on the side. That's only a good sign. Ty Jerome, green, or Ty Jerome, orange. Uh, heart rate, here we go a little bit. Cameron Johnson. No way. No way oh my no Bla no 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 guys I'm just gonna leave that there for a minute. I'll, I'll be right. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh lord. All right. So hopefully you had a good laugh. Uh, you know, enjoy enjoyed that. If you haven't ever seen that video, that's one of my most viewed videos ever on YouTube. Um, and so this product, obviously, I'm very fond with it. Here is that card right here. This is the, like the biggest pull of my life, biggest pull I will ever pull. Let's see if I can get some uh, some good light on it so it's not crazy blinding. This is my 2019-20 Panini Prism Draft Picks Prism Black Autograph Zion Williamson. This is the best pull I will ever pull in my life, my best card. Uh, the night I hit it, eight hours later, I was on a plane down to uh, Dallas to get it graded. I flew down there with it myself. Got it graded, came back in nine, nine fives all around, with the exception of corners, which had an 8.5. I did have it reevaluated. Said the corners on the front were fine. A little bit of tiny bit of edge wear or corner wear right there. But they said that there were some roller marks on the back. And it is a one of one. There you go. They did say that there were some roller marks on the back. This back corner is a little bad. Um, but I am going to try to get this card bumped at some point. I am going to take it to a raw review in town uh, coming up shortly. Well, we'll, sh we'll see if they bumped it. But So I'm going to put this back really quick before we continue. Keep that nice and safe. So obviously this product, very fond in my heart. $39.99 for 48 cards. I believe it's what, like... Uh, can't remember how many packs i think like six packs of eight cards or something something like that i that that math doesn't add up or does it whatever um but 
you, every pack you get like a red prism or a, a silver prism. So a lot of prisms in here compared to the NBA products, you know, prism, uh, NBA prism and or, or hot optic for that matter. I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this. This product, very fond of my heart. I was paying $39.99 for these back in the day, finding them at my Targets and my Walmarts. But now you cannot find these anywhere in the store. I have seen some stores still have cellos out there. But for the most part, these are all dried up. So I wanted to do this video, kind of commemorate, you know, you know, throw it back to the first time. Really, really the 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 hit of my life and the reason why I'm doing this daily YouTube content today. Um, I paid three hundred and one dollars total to have these shipped. So that's around is that like seventy five per box or so. Um, so if you factor in tax here, that's $44. So I paid about $31 over retail per. So now there are a lot of really good cards in here. One of the things is there's four different Zions in the base set. There's two base cards and all Americans and a crusade card. So you do hit a lot of Zions. Some of them hold a lot of value. The inserts hold a lot of value or sorry, the base cards hold a lot of value. And overall, I think this product has done really well in value. The base cards, not so much. Some of the silvers are way up there, like the Morant still sell for $8 to $10 a pop, if not more. The Zion silver in here, a couple of them sell for over $30 a pop. So we all know that I hit the one-on-one. -on -one. I don't expect to hit anything too crazy, obviously. Uh, I told some coworkers that I was busting this product, and they were like, let's go. You're going to hit the Morant black. And I was just like, guys, you, you got to shut up. Like... <laughs> not gonna hit the morant black what are you talking about so this is how the configuration is just kind of in there very similar to the hobby version of this product i didn't bust the hobby version but i did watch a lot of it busted so let's go ahead i'm excited i'm super excited let's go ahead and take all of the packs out before we get started just to save us some time give us a little more desk space seems like a good decision so i'm probably only going to do this one time i may do a future video where i do like two of these but these were pretty hard to find on ebay it was there was only like three or four sellers who had multiple quantity so that was it was tough to strike a good deal there was a couple that were asking like 120 dollars a piece which is insane but i think for me like this is gonna be this is like my product like a lot of people wouldn't consider opening this product but you know for me i opened so many of these mega boxes and i had so much fun with it and i'm gonna be honest with you guys even if i hadn't have hit that zion 101 i still would have done insanely well on this product i hit a lot of crazy cards and you guys can watch those videos and zoom in just a little bit let's go ahead and get started i'm excited Our orange is going to be in here, which means our auto might also be in here. Oh, our auto is going to be in here. Let's uh, hold off on that pack. It's kind of funny how I knew that, right? I haven't busted this in four months, but I busted so many of these. I knew that the orange. So something I did see that's interesting in there is there was an orange parallel and not a red parallel means no nope, these are the target issue i think there was another one that had the blues the the i only opened the target one so the walmarts i believe the walmart versions were the ones that had the blue uh refractors or not refractors but prisms so let's go ahead i'm gonna tilt that down i'm gonna move all this down and let's go ahead and get started cam reddish kz i butchered some of these names at the start too so you can see we had a red and a silver in the same pack. So Kobe White and Cody Martin. I'm super excited. This is going to be a fun throwback. There was, I mispronounced so many names out of this product. Uh, I'm considering doing it again just for fun. KZ, Cam Johnson, Red, Ja Morant, Red. Uh, I think I was saying Morant back then. So... I think I also said J a couple of times. I'm not going to go ahead and sleeve anything up just for the sake of saving time. But we'll do two piles. We'll do prism. We'll do hits. 
and uh, we'll call it good. So I know the values of this pretty well. I've still been, I still have a handful of it in my ComC account. So very familiar with the price point of this. Cam Johnson, Tyler Harrow, Red, and Nazir Little Silver, and Darius Garland on the back. Got that's four cards per pack, 48 total, so you're getting 12 packs. So we're open 48 packs in this video. Hopefully we'll hit a good a good amount of Zion. Another jaw base card. There's a Zion right there, all Americans. That's gonna be a red, about six or eight dollar card. Nothing too crazy on that Zion. Um, that's one of the more common ones. Ingus Brazikis and Jaw Morant again. So you can see there's four, I believe there's also four Morants. So you're going to hit a ton of base cards. The base cards are typically of the Zions, typically about eight to ten dollars, depending on which one it is. Or sorry, six to ten dollars. The Jaw is about three to eight dollars or so. So no limit. Tyler Harrow, RJ Barrett, that's going to be a red. Also a Tyler Harrow Silver and a PJ Washington. So you do hit a lot of nice cards. I'm not going to lie. And all these cards are worth something a little bit here and there. You know, here's the, this All-Americans is the least, um, least desirable of the four Zions in the set. Our green is going to be in here too. It's going to be a bowl bowl red. Our green is going to be Darius Garland. We'll set it aside because it's a hit. And Oni. But this is going to be a longer video. We are probably going to go about 40 minutes. I considered splitting this into two videos, but I really just wanted it to be one video um, just to kind of celebrate hitting the Zion 101 and um, throwing it back to this product. So Jackson Hayes, Darius Garland, and Matthias Feibel. We'll see who our auto is. Funny enough, it did have blue chevrons on the on the sides, and I pointed that out in the video when I hit the Zion, but it did not have that deep blue. PJ and Culver are going to be our reds, and DeAndre Hunter. So you can see that, you know, if you look at these two stacks right here, this is my base stack, this is my stack of reds and silvers. You hit almost as many parallels as you do base cards, which is kind of crazy, all things considered, but... That's where the value is in this product. Nick Claxton, Grant Williams, and another Zion. That's going to be the Crusade that I talked about. Let's go down a little bit more and fix this lighting. Eh, no, let's go up. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. So, Zion, Crusade. I didn't have a setup like this um, when I was doing these, so... Just a base Zion, but I think that's our third one of the break, and we still have three packs to go, so. It would be nice to hit the true Zion, the tr the card number one in the set. It would be nice to hit that one. So we have a purple, we have a red uh, Langford, and then a purple. I believe these are not numbered. So just another purple right there, and an Okiki. So two packs left in Mega Box numero one. Jarrett Culver, there's a good one to hit. And Jer Gerald Brantley behind him, Okiki. This one is worthy of a soft sleeve. And then later on, I will certainly get this in a better hard sleeve. So this one going for about 30 bucks. This is card number one in the set. This Zion right here, card number one in the set. I think this is probably Zion's best college card. And I know I have the black one on one, but this Something legendary about this design, you know, he's got the swooshes right there. He's got the Duke jersey visible, clearly going up for a dunk. A Nike logo on the ball. I love that card. I love that card. So let's go ahead, get into our autograph pack. So Daniel Gafford is going to be our orange. Cam Reddish is going to be Grant Williams on the back. And our auto is going to be Max Strauss. That's why you don't get excited. Cam Reddish Red. So I'll show you guys. I don't think though this is non-numbered. Oh, it is numbered. This one is 54 of 125. 
But you can see on the sides, what I was referring to, the chevrons are kind of the, the corners, if you will. Uh, and funny enough, this one has the same consistent wear that my Zion has. So a little bit of corner damage, a little bit of corner. Same consistent pattern. That, that actually reassures me seeing that. Um, also got some lines on the back right there. Interesting. Um, but Max Strauss, numbered to 125. Not a big name player. And that's unfortunately... So the auto checklist in this product, and I'll get into number two as I'm talking about that. The auto checklist has two autos of every player, and I believe there's either 100 subjects or there's 50, 120 subjects, I think. Okay, so auto... Ooh, whew. So auto is going to be in pack number one, too, and that one had the darker chevron. So that one had Duke colors on it, guys. Whew. And Ty Jerome on front. Uh, Ty Jerome was in the 101 Zion pack. What is going on? What is going on? That's going to be a fun pack. PJ, Okiki, Windler, and Ty Jerome again. That's going to be a fun pack right there. Ty Jerome was on front of my... Oh, God. Heart rate. Heart rate, guys. Heart rate. Claxton, Okiki, Brandon Clark, and Cameron Johnson. Oh, I love this product so much. I'm just like, I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice, but I am having a blast, and I'm like two blasters in. This is just perfect. This is what collecting is about, just enjoying a product, even if it's like not the best. Like, obviously Prism is best, obviously Optic and Select, probably better than Prism Draft, but... I love this product. Ty Jerome, Jalen Hands, and Jordan Poole. There he is. Another one. So this is the base of the Zion number one. This card's about a $15 card or so on Com C anyways. I don't know what it's going for on eBay. Don't care because I sell on Com C. But nice little Zion right there. Cam Johnson and Jordan Poole are going to be our Reds. And Carson Edwards. You can see, if you look at these two stacks, my red, my Reds and Silver Prisms are stacking up to be way higher than my base. So a lot of value there. The Reds don't hold nearly as much value as the Silvers, and the Silvers don't hold nearly as much value as Prism Silver. So Hashimura, Carson Edwards, and Grant Williams. I thought that Grant was an orange. And Kevin Porter Jr. I'm just going to guess. We have something interesting in here. We have an orange Pulsar in here. These are numbered to 20. I don't think I've ever hit an orange Pulsar. Out of... out of uh, This is interesting. Our orange Pulsar is going to be Jordan Poole. So I hit an orange... Uh, orange Jordan Pulsar Auto. This one's going to be 7 of 20. That's a nice, that's a solid little hit because Jordan Poole is playing pretty well. Go ahead and hit that with a soft sleeve. Yeah, I don't remember hitting any non-autos. I've hit a couple autos of the Orange Pulsars, but did not hit any Orange Pulsar straight up, I don't believe. That's pretty dang nice. This Mega Box has been pretty good so far. See what else we can find in this box. Kind of settling down. Really anxious to, to look over there, but just trying not to think about that. Terrence Mann and Daniel Gafford are going to be our two parallels. And RJ Barrett on the back. So there are other Duke players, obviously, with that color. There's other teams with that dark blue color. So could be an RJ. Could be a Cam. We shall see. There is another RJ, and there is a Jackson Hayes. Another Jackson Hayes, but two more reds to add to the pile. Jalen McDaniel. Matthias Theibel. Cool thing, or interesting thing about the Theibel to point out, every single one of my Theibels that I ever pulled had this dimple on the surface. Really interesting. And it's not on the card either. Ty Jerome Hollow. 
and Thibel again. A couple packs left, and then we will go ahead and get into that auto pack. Ugh. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Am I just, like, the luckiest person on Earth? I doubt it. Romeo Langford. Oh, this one's fun. So, when I was opening this product, and I wasn't familiar with all these names yet, this dude to me, I was pronouncing this Cabangle. Uh, Cabanelli, I believe, is how the correct pronunciation goes. Not numbered, but it is our purple for the Mega Box. So, Cabanelli. Still can't say the first name, though. I've seen that dude more times than I've seen some of my best friends in the last year. And there it is again. And Jarrett Culver. And Cabanelli even again. All oh, right. Whew. It's going to be like RJ or something, guys. Watch. So, Ty Jerome Orange. Zion Williamson in the pack. See the chevrons? That's a Duke card right there. Oh my god. Oh my god, really? Whew! Marcus Bolden! It is a Duke card! But it's Marcus Bolden. There's the Zion. Whew! Heart rate can calm down now. Duke player, Marcus Bolden. Whew! Alright, heart. Okay, fair. So it was not a $1,000 auto, it was a $2 auto. Let's go ahead and get Mega Box number three. Uh, I'm just gonna assume that our auto is gonna be in the first pack, but we will see and then we'll put it off to the side. It's kind of how these go. Auto not in the first pack, interesting. So Bull Bull, Gerald Brantley, Darius Garland, and Grant Williams. But I was right, you guys. I, I saw the Chevron and I was like, I know. Yep, it's in there and it's purple. Interesting. I'm trying to think about who has purple Chevrons on the side of their auto. Probably. I was going to say Kyle Guy, but that would be Kings and these are college cards, so... Jackson Hayes, Jalen Hands, Grant Williams, and Dylan Windler. I'm on the come down right now, thinking that I hit the Zion. And I'm going to show you guys why I thought it was the Zion. It's because when I was peeling it, I saw the ball right there. And in his other pose, not, not, or rather in this pose, I forgot. See, the ball is right there. I, that's why I thought it was, because the ball is pretty close in both of them. In a somewhat similar spot. Obviously a lighter skin tone on Marcus Bolden. Um, but I saw that ball and I got really excited because I've seen the back of this card all along a lot of times. So was not meant to be. Jarrett Culver, Grant Williams, Daniel Gafford, and Jalen Hands again. PJ, Ty Jerome, Gerald Brantley again, and Grant Williams, All-Americans. But I love this product, guys. I'm, I'm, I might do some more of this now that I'm, now that I'm busting it. Like, I feel like, I feel like it's back in November again, and I was just finding eight of these every weekend. It was great. Jarrett Culver and Nick Claxton. Daniel Gafford is going to be the base card. That was just a crazy moment in my life. I hit the card at like 11.30 at night, and I had to wake my wife up. I had a panic attack. Didn't know what to do. Tyler Harrow and Dylan Windler are going to be the parallels there. And um, I, I honestly, I sat on the floor by our stairs for like an hour just trying to figure it out. My friend Jimmy, Kentucky Basketball Cards, had hit the Zion and... RJ Barrett, dual auto Black Pulsar, I believe. Black Pulsar, yep. Black Mosaic. And he had flown down from North Carolina. He flew over to uh, BGS and had that graded. So 
kind of clicked in my head i have to do the same thing because this card this zion is the best damn card that you can pull in the product and i was right because it is the best card you can pull in the product uh zion base card nice little hit right there tremont waters we have a grant williams gr lime green i believe these are numbered 149 125 on the lime green and Jarrett Culver. So I followed his footsteps, booked a flight at 2 in the morning, and I was on that flight at 7 a.m. Calling my work, telling him, hey, I can't come in for a couple of days. I got to go to Texas. I have business to take care of. Brandon Clark and Jalen Hands are going to be the inserts there. Also a Nick Claxton. And uh, got down there on a Sunday. Was that a Sunday? They weren't open, so I waited till Monday, got it graded, and flew back the very next day. And um, sure enough, that, that's the story. And shared it on social media, shared the video on YouTube, shared the story on YouTube, and that, that really launched my YouTube channel. So it's uh, been a wild ride. I still have the card. I have it up for sale right now at a buy it now price. I have been considering. So I'm gonna gonna try to get it bumped later this month when BGS is in town. If they don't bump it for me to a 9.5, I will go ahead and I'm considering seven-day auctioning it. I'm going to wait to see what happens with the NBA season if it resumes, but I was leaning towards seven-daying it and just letting it ride. Grant Williams and PJ are going to be the Reds in that pack and Tremont Waters. So we'll see, but if I do sell it, if I do make any kind of decisions like that, you guys are going to be the first to know for sure. I love communicating with you guys, and I love talking with you guys. I love creating videos, so that's what it's all about. Grant Williams and Grant Williams. So purple and red on those Grant Williams. And Brandon Clark on the back. So hit over here to this autograph pack with the purple Chevron. So I can't think of any players. Maybe a Matthias Theibel from the University of Washington. But we shall see. So Dewan Hernandez is going to be the orange. We have a Jarrell Brantley on back, and that's going to be a Jalen Noel. That's going to be an orange Pulsar. So I know the Zion orange Pulsar is a 101, and I know that my Jordan Poole was numbered to 10. So these have varying, and it was from University of Washington. Look at that. I'm not even a college basketball fan, but... Let's go ahead and put it in a sleeve, and then let's figure out what it is number two. I'm going to guess, if I had to guess, this is number to 10. 19 to 20, so I was close. But to get a hit, you know, number to 20, and get an auto number to 20. Our second orange pulsar, so I think we're way ahead of the curve, because I opened a lot of these boxes, and a lot of them had standard, just red autos. Um, and I don't believe that Zion had a red auto, so he only had colored autos and snake skin autos and things like that. He did not have any standard reds, and I don't think he had any greens either for that matter. So you could, if you were going to hit a Zion, you were only going to hit a numbered Zion. I might be wrong with that, but I believe, I believe I'm correct. Because I looked at one point of potentially putting together... I think that our auto is going to be in there. No, nope, auto is not going to be in there, so maybe second pack auto. Tucker, Claxton, Langford, and Okiki. But I looked at the possibility of maybe trying to build the rainbow of Zion, and that was before Prism had came out for the NBA. And realistically, it wasn't feasible, but I didn't. That was something that I looked into. So I think our auto is going to be in there. And I, I kind of spoiled it for myself because I do see that it is a red auto on front. The red shines off of the chrome card behind it. And I also saw that it had red chevron. So I'm trying to remember who could be a red. And I think that there's a, like a lot of bad teams. There is another Zion. It's going to be a Zion red. So there's some red for us. Go ahead and get that into a slap sleeve. Cavanielli is going to be a silver and another Ty Jerome. But no, I'm having a blast. This is a fun, very fun product to bust. And uh, the Zions that you hit, all of that adds up little by little. And, of course, you know, hit, we've hit a couple nice autos. You know, the Jordan Poole was nice. Or not the Jordan Poole, but the Orange Pulsar Jalen Noel was pretty nice. 
Pascal, another Zion red. So we're really just missing the one Zion, the, the card number one, in either a silver or a red. That would be quite nice. So another Zion for you. Okiki and Cam Johnson. Oops, got them in the wrong pile. Of course I did. One, another Zion. So we're on a little Zion streak right here. One thing that I heard was interesting, and I don't know if this is true or not. If the NBA season, if they do not play any more regular season games, Zion Williamson would be a rookie next season. I don't think he played enough games to qualify. That's what I'm hearing. Is that right or is that wrong? Uh, let me know. I'm probably going to look into that after the video, so I'll probably know. But that will be crazy if Zion, if, if that happens, if the season gets canceled and like they go directly to the playoffs or something. And, um, yeah, that would be, that would be crazy. LeVar Ball just losing his mind right now because, um, who is it? LaMelo is projected to go high in the draft. Brandon Clark and Ty Jerome are going to be the Reds in that pack and a Carson Edwards on the back. Kobe White, we haven't said his name too much, not very much this video. Kobe, Cameron... Uh, KZ and Kevin Porter Jr. KPJ. But it sucks with the NBA season canceled. Guys like Kevin Porter Jr. And all the guys who are really kind of like dialing it up. We have something. Yeah, we, so it looks like we have a lime green to 149 in here. All the guys who are kind of starting to dial it up. Um, Kobe White, KPJ. They're going to be, they're going to cool off a little bit. Their cards are kind of going to slow down. We have a Jordan Poole Red. And a Romeo Langford number to 149. It's interesting that whenever there's like a, a hit or something, a non a non red or a non hollow, the card behind it is always a little bit more curved than the other card. So it's gonna be a Romeo Langford to 125, actually. So Langford. A few more packs left, and then we'll go ahead and take a peek at that auto. It is red school color, so I'm not not too sure who that could be. Potentially, it looks like I was thinking if it might be Wazoo University or Washington State University, that could be uh, Hashimura, but I don't believe so because it's like a more darker or it's a more lighter red. The uh, uh, Cavanelli and Carson Edwards are going to be the inserts or the hollows rather, hollows the parallels, but I don't think it's that team. The, the Wazoo is typically a little bit more crimson than that, so be interesting to see who it is. KPJ and Terrence Mann are going to be our Reds in that pack. Also a Jackson Hayes. So three packs left, and then we will hit it with a recap. Um, I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys are enjoying this too. I know we had the sweat earlier, the Zion sweat, but hey, it was still a Duke Auto. RJ Barrett and Quindari Weatherspoon. Thibault on the back. So... Here we go. Two packs left. Kyle Guy, Jackson Hayes. Our purple is going to be No Limit Tyler Harrow and Romeo Langford. So final pack. Is it going to be something crazy? We shall see. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's red. So I was, I was cheating like I told you guys. I was kind of looking at the glow of the card. So Brandon Clark is going to be behind it. Romeo Langford and it's going to be Jawan Morgan of Indiana. All right, guys, super sorry about the video cutting out. My phone decided to tell me it wanted to go into low power mode. And because of that, we lost about 10 seconds. I'm going to go back through the last card in that pack. The auto in that pack was a Jawan Morgan, just a standard red, non numbered. You see the chevrons on the back are red. They were not the University of Washington like I speculated they might be. Um, so nothing crazy there. Let's go ahead. I want to do a quick little recap. Um, while my phone was restarting, I took time to kind of clean up and do a little bit of a, a little bit of a recap right here. So Juwan Morgan, our four autos, Juwan Morgan, Max Strauss, uh, number to 125 on that one, that lime green. Marquez Bolden, that's also going to be a red. That was our Duke University, the one where we, you know, had the, I basically had the mini heart attack seeing the Duke colors on the back. So 
Should have just noticed that it was red uh, shining off the card behind it, and I would have not freaked out. And then our big auto, not super big, but kind of big, Jalen Noel from the University of Washington. I believe he's now Timberwolves. And uh, that was going to be our orange pulsar, numbered 19 of 20. So one good auto out of four boxes. That's about the average. I I did hit quite a few good autos. Uh, I hit a... Um, Seku Dumbaya, uh, what was that, like a green, number to 125, um, hit a Jordan Poole. So I did hit some pretty good autos other than, of course, the Zion 101, as you guys all know. Um, so speaking of Zion, let's go ahead and get into the stack of Zion that I hit. So two number one base cards. These are selling for about 17 bucks a pop on Com C. This one sells for a little bit less, right around 10 bucks a pop. This one, a lot less. These are about five bucks. Same with this, about six or seven bucks. Uh, we did hit some color though. So we did hit a Crusade Red, an All-Americans Red, or two Crusade Reds, rather. These are about 10 bucks. The Crusade's about eight bucks. And then these two, these are the card number one in the base set. Um, both look pretty sharp. That's just a bad penny sleeve. Um, but these sell for about 30 bucks a pop. So nice little stack of Zion, quite, quite a bit of value there. Um, probably, probably around a hundred bucks there conservatively. Um, the auto is probably, I, I don't know what the Jalen Noel sells for and I don't want to speculate, but a little bit there and then a little more here, get our money back. Uh, Gafford, Ty Jerome, Dewan Hernandez, and another, or rather a Jordan Poole orange Pulsar, that should have been front. That one's also numbered to 20, 7 to 20 on that Jordan pool. Um, so these are all, you know, most of these guys, not too big names. And then Jalen McDaniels. I mean, but they're oranges, so they're a little bit rarer. So these typically sell for a dollar. Jordan pool, maybe 10 bucks because he does have some to his name. I could be wrong on there. Did hit some good purples. Tyler Harrow, that's a few bucks. And then Grant Williams, Cabanelli, and KZ. Darius Garland, that's going to be a green number two, or not numbered, but that's just the darker green, uh, not numbered, just you know, a dollar. So you get into these, these are numbered to 125. I hit a Romeo Langford and Grant Williams. Again, not big names, um, but then you get into some nicer stuff back here. I did pull out a couple silvers. So I have this stack of silvers that's right here. This is a little stack of silvers of minor players, you know, not big names yet. And even bigger stack of reds. The reds really didn't hold their value just because, you know, out of four mega boxes, this is how many reds I got. So, again, they're more common than base cards if you compare it to my stack of base. They're about the same size. But I did hit a Tyler Harrow silver, also a Kobe White silver, and then a Ja Morant red and a Tyler Harrow red. Also a RJ Barrett red, a Cam Reddish red, another RJ, another Tyler, another RJ. So did hit some quality players in the hollow or the silver and the reds. And then just a couple base cards. We did not see much jaw this whole break. Kind of bummed out about that. Um, but we did hit a crusade and a base card nonetheless. Um, that's going to do it for the break. Like I said, this the product has a very special place in my heart. Um, funny enough, I think that... If we had found these at forty dollars, we definitely got our money back. Um, but because I paid over, you know, three hundred for the four mega boxes, um, definitely think I came up a little bit short. But I don't think that there's a price that you can put on having fun. And as you guys heard in a couple of those mega boxes, I was just having a blast, reminiscing about my craziness driving around finding these and being all hype on these. When a lot of people were sleeping on this product, a lot of people. You know, said, well, just wait a couple months or just wait six weeks when real Prism is out. Um, and because they decided to wait, uh, I was able to scoop up all of these mega boxes. These were the best configuration retail wise for me. I didn't bust any hobby because the hobby boxes of this product were going for like 300 plus when they're now selling for 200. Um, so that's pretty interesting that they went down when most basketball products are going up. But a lot of the big name cards have been pulled from this product. Like a lot of the big Zions have been pulled. A lot of the blacks and the one on ones and stuff like that have already been pulled and have surfaced in pop reports and on eBay for sale. Also, the fact that all the players are in their um, college uniforms, that's just going to inherently turn off some people. So you're dealing with that as well. But anyways, that's going to do it for the break. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't think you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. 
Um, don't know if we'll ever do this product on the channel again. I had an absolute blast, and um, until next time, or I guess I'll say it if you guys like my content, be sure to like and subscribe. I do a lot of trading card content. But otherwise, we will catch you on down the road and catch you next time.